Hello everyone. Today let's start to the unit two. The first part of the unit two that we gonna discuss today is the creative skill. Here's the content that we discuss in this part, the first part of the unit two. Back on your study, the first part of the unit two, you can be understand our definition of material skill, understand our importance of material skill, understanding of material skill and performance, and the method of human assessment. And also, you can practice and test your material skill. Can you know the way of your cognitive as well? So, let's start to the second point that is about the definition of material skill. What does the cognitive skill mean? Maybe a measure of the cognition have been developed and reformed hours past century. Cognitive ability have multi purpose. So the psychology distinct between false intelligence, the drain of which we call on, and the crystalline intelligence. Achievement tests are the design to capture crystalline intelligence. Uh, there are actual tests like a ribbon of progressive the matrix and design to the capture full intelligence. This new understanding of constitution is not really appreciated. Many use the actual test, a standard achievement test, and even great as intelligent board a measure of cognitive ability or intelligence. So we'll start to the next point is the cognitive skill and the math performance. Gary described the relationship between the very cognitive machinism and the Discussing in the math ability, which may be summarized in the follow chart, like the yep, that you see in this table, cognitive machine, uh, yeah, the machinism like a language system that can be mean about the information representation as the articulated a number word, and the working of memory can be referred to the information population as during the age of the counting. And the visual as part of processing representation of the capsule knowledge as a number monitor as the information in the partial form. And the now and the inhibitory can be the using a uh, procedure in the problem solution. So, based on the analysis of the mechanism and the related type of the math defeat for which there is the implicated subpart, there is defined as three. The subtype of the math disability. The first is the somatic memory, the second is the procedural, and the third, yeah, or the last one is the virtuous spectrum. So, what's to the, yeah, the first part of the, yeah, so let's to the first part of the math. And the semantic memory. What is the uh, semantic memory? Semantic memory is what again for us to remember word, meaning, and concept as the purpose to specific event. Individual with the defeat in the semantic memory are likely to have a difficulty resuming um, yep, a semantic phrase, meaning first take a high error rate and other verb board of the slow or retail board. And this individual you may also forward to recognize that example, for example, of uh, your yeah, operation side, and the may have the trouble against being the meaning of a different operation. It would not be the surprising to find a student with a somatic memory disability doing a series of math. A problem with the measure of uh, the measure of the operation, for example, combination or addition and the subtraction a problem or a one kind of problem because he or she did not notice the change in the operation aside from one problem to the next task. So that you the example, the one basic or the semantic memory. For example, for first like, yeah, we can be tagged, but in this example, I want to be the you explain why you can be calculate for plus like uh yeah equal ten. So in a semantic memory, the first will learn by counting all, right? This involves the counting every number up to the sum as in one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, until the ten. Then we move to the counting on. In step, the student start with the first. Add in and count after the second as it four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
A more a measure of vision is counting on the involved choosing the largest number and the counting from there is as the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is a refer to ask the mini the mini minimization approach. Finally, this process becomes so automatic that we move on to the first time and most of the seal reservoir or the effect no as the take reservoir. When the complement of the mat first arises in a long term memory, the individual see the four plus six four and the multiply also the answer ten. So let's move to the second part that is about the procedure of sub ten. Procedure of the of the math disability led to the new or the strategy and procedure to solve a math problem. In the you this type of the disability, a man has the developmentally immature procedure in the solving a math problem. They have difficulty adjusting procedure accurately and difficulty sufficiency step in the procedure. Some procedures are not tapped of the long-term memory, difficult or solvers and defining and working through the adjustment of the procedure are also likely to be a memory issue, a particular different type or yeah, begin about to identify pattern discrimination or similarity and the difference. So let's start to the official step or step -tap. The third a sub type of the math disability for which there is in critical in dividend is the visual separate type. The difficult in the areas include the majority a number in the multi column as a multi or reversing or the putting a number out or a sequence and the misunderstanding or certainly a representative number so for example is possible. And yeah, directionally a visualization timing and the visual especially a memory at a basic the cognitive skill that form the foundation for this specific method skill. So in the yeah, back on you see the this table, you can see the between basic cognitive skill and memory performance as like visual uh substance uh, action. We maybe yeah uh related to the second focus on the period of time we went just along in that to accumulate a several adichi into the correct order to several number and operator into the mathematic ascension. And for the visual discrimination, the ability to the dif different from like from the five or a two or to recognize them completely without consistently they having to evaluate them. Likely the ability to see it different in the chart or the form. And for the Visual from consistency can be referred to the ability to recognize an object or lesson of its size, distance, or orientation is the necessary in understanding and seeking the relationship in the geometry and other markings. Yep. Yeah. And the next is about the visual processing space. The faster the brain can process the visual stimulate that appear on the page the more likely in that one can combine them into the meaning for the group. And the visualization can be referred to ability to recall an image of what have been seen and the ability to mentally uh, manipulate and change aspect of that image in the mind in the inherent and seeking what you have and when to after 10 appear or removed. And directionality refer to the ability to interpret or project the concept of left and right into the space on the onto other object. For the long term memory can be referred to the ability to store and resist information, particularly the meaning of concept and the more as well as a math fact in the critical to the math of fluency. And the audition, auditory can be referred to the ability to recall a subsequent or step in math procedure is the critical in the remembering and accurately adjusting step. And working memory became able to hold the information in your mind while the manipulate it that it is think about it what about a student to assemble a math fact and manipulate them at the, at the same time. And the conceptual thinking why aspect 
Abstract or interpretive thinking is the ability to form concept conversion or a feature that create a category or an idea. So let's move to the third part that is about the method or assessment. So you can see the more uh yeah in the your right side is the frontier tab and the left and the right side is the invitation method. For example, your connective tab is the for sure, know that you can be in validation by task, interview, on our survey, writing survey, incomplete sentence, from submap, question work, tip of, and so on. And the concept is a know that you can be in by interview, problem interview, possibility interview, or report that you have yeah, and anything more that you can see in this tab. Like a know that a procedure, you can be in by a debate, politic conversation, problem conversation, critical reading, T diagram, and girl um diagram, and yep, so on you can see in this table. For the meta cognitive uh the cognitive, you can be yep, evaluation by problem talk, case study, debate, fishboard, diagram, and more. So you can be yep, go to be click in this link. You, uh, in this link, you can be practiced about the, yeah, the question and answers of any test that can be test your cognitive skill. So, so uh, yeah, this unit will will be have the quiz and assignment to test your cognitive skill. So, yeah, and yeah, now the presentation of the unit is the finished. Yes, thank you for attention on this video. Thank you.